Well, your first experience of a Friday night here at Prentice Park, you must have enjoyed that, Josh. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, I was really looking forward to, it, forward to it tonight. Um, just to see, like, obviously, the more fans in tonight, and the atmosphere was brilliant, so yeah, it was really good. And your first tramvia goal as well, right in front of the Bebbington car for me. Yeah. Uh, you made the most of the celebrations. Yeah, um, well, it's been. I've missed a few chances so far. Um, I thought I should have had one last week. Um, for the post twice, so it was a bit of a relief to finally, finally score, and hopefully I can push on from there now. With yourself and Kieran Morris and Callum, you know you all like the ball at your feet and to yeah. run at defenders. You, you can cause some big problems. Yeah, um, I think we've got we've got the team to do that. Um, got a lot of good runners in the team, and I think like me, Callum, Mark, um, even like falls that side as well. Yeah. Um, we've got a lot of people who can, can cause problems in the defence. So. Yeah, it's good. It was a bit stop start in the first half, and they were quite physical. You know, the referee was stopping starting the game, but all credit to the team. I mean, you you kept your momentum, you kept your rhythm, you kept going, and in that second half, really blew them away. Yeah, I think they came and tried to try to maybe like silence the crowd a little bit, delay things. Um, but I think we kept it well, um, being patient. I think the gaffer said at half time, we'll get a chance and we'll we'll kill them off. So yeah, um, second half I thought we really done that, and it was good. Gaff was just telling us then that you know you, you've come here and perhaps you know you, you're still catching up your fitness a little bit in those yeah. first few games when you arrived here. You, you feel like you're getting close to it now. Yeah, um, I missed a little bit of a chunk of pre-season at Sunderland um, with COVID, and I came back towards the end of the pre-season, um, played a few games, very a bit limited up until I came here um, with game, with minutes. Um, but yeah, catching up and feel like I'm fully 100% now. So yeah, I'll push on now. And in terms of the squad, that's the same there. I mean, you look at the bench today and the quality you've got there, and lads who can't even get on the bench at the moment. I mean, there's a yeah. really strong squad. You've got to fight for your place. Yeah, um, but I think I think you need that in in this league um, to be able to rotate. But like you say, all the lads will be needed throughout the season. And I think as long as we stick together as a group, um, we've got a real good chance. You've come from a club that's got a, a terrific fan base, and you know, they're here pre-season as well, of course, for the, for the friendly as well. But you've come to another club where there's a strong fan base. I mean, you, you must be able to relate to that. Yeah, um, I think it's it's really important um, for the club um, to have that fan base because you can see teams and they come here and if they try and frustrate, but sometimes it can it can make them go under a little bit. Um, so especially when they're right behind us, it, it gives the lads a big boost. So yeah, it's really good. What was the key to you coming here in the first place, Josh? Um, it was quite late in the day. Um, I was always looking looking to try and get games, um, and Tramia came in and the opportunity and couldn't really turn it down to be honest. It was. It was an opportunity that I knew was important for me, um, and yeah, I was just really looking forward to it as soon as, as, soon as I heard that tram here. Yeah. And I can tell you frustration at the start there about, you know, I've missed a few chances, you know, yeah. it was about time I got a goal, but obviously you, you set yourself quite high standards too. Yeah, um, well, I, I'd like to try and think that I'd back myself to get goals, and um, when I'm not doing that, I'm trying to think why I'm not. Um, but yeah, to finally get off the market, it's like a bit of a relief, a um, bit of weight off the shoulders, and. Hopefully now I can push on and score more. And you're already a big fan's favourite here. That must be a big thing. Oh well, yeah. Um, like you say, it's. So I think it's important that we get a connection with the fans and um, to, to, to obviously if they take a like into you, then yeah, it's brilliant. Well, well done tonight. I'm sure there's more, plenty more goals to come. Brilliant. Keep at it. Thank you very much. Josh, sometimes games can be a bit of a graft, especially in League Two, but. When that second goal went in there today, it looked like everyone wanted to be on the ball. People were bombing forward, the crowd was up, everyone was enjoying it, I think. And Is that when football's at its best for you? Um, yeah, um, obviously everyone wants to play when, when you're winning, you want the ball. Um, but I think it's important when, when it's not and it's nil-nil that we wear the opposition down. And I think we've done that tonight um, to give us the opportunity to, to obviously work, get the ball. And when they're tired to, to really show what we can do. So yeah, I think it, that comes from the start of, of wearing them down. Do you set yourself any targets in terms of goals or, or assists or anything, or is it just a case of going out there and, and playing your own game? Um, yeah, just going out and, and playing my own game, really. Um, I'd like to think within a season I could I can score a few goals. So, yeah, I don't have really any targets to myself, but as long as we're winning games and, and performing, then that's all that really matters. And I, I don't know how often you'd have played on a Friday night, but uh, that, back. Back in the day, it was quite a big thing here playing on Fridays with, with good wing playing. People, people enjoying that sort of uh, you know skillful players on the ball. How did you find it? Yeah, uh, like you say, it, it was brilliant. Um, I was really looking forward to, to tonight with the atmosphere and um, I didn't disappoint. I think like even you see, see at the end, like the atmosphere you get, it's unbelievable. So yeah, it was really good tonight. Day off tomorrow or something? I've seen the Lionel player. They no, no international. So yeah, um, weekend to rest and go again Monday.